Good Wednesday morning, everybody. A beautiful picture I want to start off with sent in by Jane Hawes of Dixon. This was taken Monday on Labor Day, combination of the full moon and the wildfire smoke moving across the area, really turning the moon itself an interesting hue of kind of an orange red. And of course, we had that same thing happen with our sun for much of the day, too. That's why you have seen kind of that orange yellow tint as we headed towards sunset on Monday. What a beautiful shot. Thank you so much, Jane for sending that in. Speaking of other things to look at in the sky, Tim has posted a nice article on our main Facebook page about the northern lights possibly being seen across the area late tonight. We'll hope we can clear a couple of these clouds out, but it does look like we could see some breaks that may allow some of the viewing here. Check out his article. It's pinned right to the top of our page and it has everything you need to know regarding the potential for those later on tonight. Some big time potential for some extremely serious weather to the southeast of the United States here, especially in parts of Florida. Notice Hurricane Irma, still a catastrophic producing, damage producing Category 5 storm, just on real. In fact, setting a new record as the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, excluding the Gulf of Mexico, ever on record to give you the, kind of an idea of the magnitude of this storm. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Notice the track continues to take it off to the northwest here. And we're, basically what we're waiting to see is which side of Florida if any, does this thing try to land on? Right now, some indications it could go right on the west side here towards Tampa. Others take it to the east, off to parts of Orlando, and then others take it into the Carolinas too. And then, of course, there's also the track that could send it into the Gulf of Mexico, which is something we hope doesn't happen. A word of a kind of note here is that the, wa the waters that this thing will be approaching here in the next few days, considerably warmer than where the storm is now. So if it can remain over water and not really have too much land interaction, this thing could intensify even further as it moves off to the north and to the west. So certainly something to keep an eye on. If you have interests, friends, family in the Florida region, make sure they're staying up to date on Hurricane Irma. Our temperatures today back closer to home here. Cool, not going to be getting into the 70s today. It looks like middle to upper 60s for most of us. A little bit of a breeze out of the north at 12. Partly sunny skies and again most of us hitting about 66, 67 degrees area wide. Your next week's worth of weather really tranquil. Hurricane Irma will be blocking up the pattern which means we're not going to change things much around here. We'll just gradually get warmer as the week progresses. Notice we're heading into the 70s by Thursday. Taste of Fiesta on Saturday looking absolutely gorgeous. That'll be in downtown Sterling at Grand and Civic Center and beyond that. Well, temperature is going to continue to moderate and will remain dry. There's really no chance of rain in about the next seven to ten days. So if you have any outdoor projects that need a lot of drying time, staining, sealing, anything like that, uh, now would be the time to do it as we have cool days, cool nights, and a bit of a breeze along with plenty of sunshine that will keep our weather looking a-okay for the next week to week and a half.